good hey, afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Come on in. All right. Come on, in. Come on, in. Come on, in. on a scale of one to ten, how excited are you right now? I would say a certified eleven. Ooh. Wow, this is a beautiful wall. Can you tell us something about the wall? Oh, yeah. absolutely. I feel like as a human being, we have many faces. And I started collecting masks from Africa for probably about the past, I would say, 13 years, even though I'm 16. So when I was three, I started collecting all these beautiful mirrors because I just, masks, because I just love it. All right, just it's the it. beautiful home you have here. Oh, What's your favorite piece in here? My favorite piece in here? Well, it changed momentarily. Like right now, uh, probably about a year ago, this was my favorite piece. And it's because it was from India, and it's bold, and it's beautiful, and it's detailed, so I loved it. But right now, currently, as I'm feeling right now, this is my favorite piece. So this is a recent piece that I bought from Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, I just love it. I love it for the craftsmanship. I love what it, love what it stands for, family here, and my most beautiful piece right now in the moment. You have a very unique style. How would you how would you describe your style with a uh, hashtag? Mm, with a hashtag, I would say hashtag bold, hashtag beautiful, hashtag confident, hashtag I'm gonna be who I wanna be. And you're also a lawyer, right? Absolutely. Tell us something about your career that you know people don't know about. Well, I can tell you, I work like a beast. I work from morning till night. And that's the part of lawyering that most people don't see. People think you just get up, go to court, uh, win a case, and then you get up and go to court and win another case. But it's some serious, serious hard work, especially when you do litigation. And how long have you been a lawyer? Ah, I've been a lawyer since 2001. And you're also from um, Florida, right? I am. Carol City? Born and raised in Carol City. What's your favorite thing to do in Florida? Uh, my favorite thing to do in Florida is, I, I want to say shop, mm -hmm. it's sad, but I, I, I love shopping, I love clothes, I love those type of things in South Florida. And actually, people like to say New York has the best clothes, I don't believe that. South Florida has some of the most beautiful clothes, so yay to South Florida. Awesome, you know what, let's take a seat. All I right. got some more questions for you. Yeah, come on. So, are you single or taken? <laughs> None of your business. Next question, please. <laughs> All right, so what's your fav favorite actor? Ah, uh, my favorite actor is, I would say, Denzel Washington, not because he's beautiful, but because he is so talented. All right, if you had to kiss a singer, who would that be? Ooh, right now, I got the biggest crush on Burner Boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gold or diamond? Oh, mm, how about both? All right, what's your favorite cookie? My favorite cookie, come on over here and I can show you my favorite cookies. I was first introduced to these, they're called Biscoffs. I was first introduced to these. If anybody has ever flown on Delta, these are the official cookies of Delta. Once I got hooked onto these, I buy them by the bulk. And I'll finish this probably in about 30 minutes, yeah. Can I have some? Oh, oh absolutely, let me give you one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here you go. Thank you. Yes. Um. Delicious. Yes. Coffee or tea? Come on over here, I can show you. I am very much a Jamaican. So you know, uh, coming from a Jamaican family, we do tea. And I can show you my favorite tea. My favorite tea is green, green tea and coconut. And wait, you can't forget the eucalyptus honey. Organic, the best. Mix the two, you feel like you're drinking a little bit of Heaven. You know what? Enough of the food. Take me to your closet. All right, let, let's, let's see what go. you got. One of my favorite places in the world. Come on. So, how many closets do you have? Yeah. Now you're really getting into my business, okay? Well, That's this is I'm... the main closet, and then I have six other closets. So, this is the main closet. Take a look at it. Beautiful. Yes, yes. What is this thing here? Ha 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 ha. So, uh, I've often told you all that I have a 23-inch waist. People may think this is a headband, but this is actually a belt by Alexander McQueen. You can, it's metal, and you put your waist in there. But it's only for people with a 23 inch waist like this. Yeah, uh-huh. All right, what's your favorite shoes in here? Ah, you know, this is my favorite shoe. Believe it or not, I'm a very plain girl when it comes to my favorite shoe. And it's the Soul Cates by Christian Louboutin. You put this on with anything. It could be a thrift shop dress that you bought for three dollars or a 30,000 gown from Valentino. The height that it gives you, you automatically elevate it to queen status. And so, what's your favorite dress in here? Ooh, 
Ooh, my favorite dress. I want to say all of my dresses are my favorite dress, especially my gowns. The majority of my gowns come from Valentino, so the majority of them are... Uh, Valentina is my favorite designer when it comes to the gowns. So let's throw a number at me. How many dresses do you have in here? Oh, in here or in total? In total. Uh, I would probably say about gowns. Gowns meaning long gowns. I probably have about 150. Oof, that doesn't sound too good. My mom is not proud of that. But yeah, probably about 150. How often do you shop? I used to shop a lot. I do not shop a lot now. Uh, as a mother, uh, as a responsible person, I don't drop money the way I used to. Now I have a rule, and my rule is if I don't have at least three, four times the amount that I have in the bank, I'm not buying it. So I don't really shop as much anymore. My priorities are, like, totally different. Prada or Gucci? Woo! I would say Gucci right now. Gucci is definitely doing their thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, let's... Head back to the living room. I got All some right. more questions for you. All right. Anything How many kids want? do you have? I have two. Okay. And probably three more to come. I don't know. All right. Are you married right now? Didn't I tell you none of your business? Okay. All right. Let's take a seat. All right. All right. Okay. How can people contact you? Uh, definitely through social media. I'm on Instagram. I am Natasha Main. Oh. That is Main spelled with M A Y. And, e, and I'm also on Facebook, and I also have a website, and that is MainLawFirm.com. Just Google Natasha Main, you'll find me. And when you're not working, what do you do for fun? Oh, I'm very involved in charity. I do lots of charity work. I'm always speaking. I speak um, all over the United States, uh, and I love it. I do motivational speaking. What is something that most people don't know about you? Ah, let's see, something that most people don't know about me. Uh, that I have asthma. Uh, I've had asthma for years. Uh, it's a respiratory issue. I haven't had it for a little while now, though, but I, I, I am asthmatic. Yeah, describe your life in two sentences. I'm always living my greatest life. The greatest. I'm always seeking and searching to live my greatest life. Are you looking for a partner right now? You know what? I think you're interested in me. I think you and the camera are interested in me. That is nobody's business, okay? Well, yeah. it's a yes or no question. Am I looking for somebody right now? The answer is no. Ha <laughs> ha! Let that confuse you, okay? Yeah. Alright, what's the best piece of advice you would give to your 18-year-old self? You know, I think I would, in reverse, say exactly what my grandmother said. Be bold. Go after what it is you want without reservation. Live out loud. Um, and be you. Don't make any excuses. What would you like to be reminded for? Uh, I would like to be known for the rest of my life. I would like my legend to be that I inspired people and motivated people to be their best self. Okay, so what's your favorite place in the world? Ah, uh, there's two places that I love that I go to at least every year. And my favorite place in the world is definitely Jamaica. And my other favorite place in the world is New York City. Do you speak any other languages? Uh, no, I do not. English, if you want to call it Patois, another language, go ahead. So I'm bilingual, yeah. What's your favorite app right now? My favorite app is uh, WhatsApp. Are you on any dating app right now? You know, <laughs> why would I be on a dating app? Did I tell you anything about dating? What's the craziest thing you've done? What's the most adventurous? Uh, adventurous thing you've done? Ah, I bungee jump. Okay. What? And in Jamaica, there's this place called Rick's Cafe, and you could jump off the cliff into the water, and I did that. Mm. A country you would love to visit? A country I would love to visit is India. You know, my family descends from India and migrated to Jamaica, so I would love to go and find my roots in India. All right, so it was a pleasure. Thank chatting you. with you. Thank you. Um, Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Can I stay uh, for the night? Yeah, you can stay. Oh, yeah, you know what? You know. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> but you can come back at any time. How about that? You want to come back at any time? Oh, uh, I'd rather stay. You know what? I'm going to shut the camera now, okay? Okay, and just stay, okay? So this is private. All right. Yeah, that's private. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>